We're back with WSJ Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. All right, on Wednesday night, you're going to ha not have to think a lot about what to watch on TV because a concert benefiting Hurricane Sandy victims is going to be blanketing the airwaves and the Internet. Pia Catton is joining us from London right now to tell us all about it. So, Pia, let's just let's do some name dropping right off the top. Who are some of the celebrities involved with this 12-12-12 event? They're billing it because of the date. Well, these are some of the biggest rock acts around. I mean, you've got Bruce Springsteen, Paul McCartney, Billy Joel, Bon Jovi, um, Alicia Keys, the Rolling Stones are going to be a big part of this. Um, they were just in Brooklyn and playing in New Jersey. Also, and then there's a lot of actors. There's uh, Steve Buscemi, Jimmy Fallon, Chris Rock. I mean, it's a huge number of people. And those are the faces we're going to be seeing. Now, there's three big players behind the scenes. These were three of the same men who helped pull off a benefit concert after the uh, terrorist attacks of September 11th to benefit uh, New York City. Tell us about them. That's right. These three guys came together um, to produce the 9-11 concert, and they are Harvey Weinstein, um, James Dolan, of course, the executive chairman of Madison Square Garden Company, and John Sykes, the president of Clear Channel Entertainment. And each one of those has a, 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 represents an enormous amount of um, distribution power, and that's really what's bringing this concert to so many people. I mean, they are estimating that it can hit 2 billion people. And that's because of the difference in how they're distributed. If I remember correctly, uh, this concert for the September 11th victims, now that only was broadcast on VH1, but they're going a different route this time around. Describe that, Pia, and tell us a little bit about what they hope to gain. Right. Well, instead of selling the rights to one broadcasting outlet, VH1, um, they decided to distribute the rights for a number to a number of networks. So. This is going to be shown on 37 different networks on television. And, you know, James Dolan was joking, if you have any plans to be watching television on Wednesday night, you're going to be watching this concert because that's all there is. And also, and also streaming on the Internet as well. I'm assuming there's going to be an enormous social media presence uh, and all of this driving people to donate. Any estimates? I mean, you said about 2 billion people watching. Do they, have they given any projections on at least what they hope to raise, Pia, in their sort of wildest dreams? Well, they've already raised 32 million just between ticket sales and sponsorships. And that is almost, it's, it's close to double what they had reached at this point before the September 11th concert. Sorry, September 11th concert. Right. So, I mean, they are just saying that it's going to dwarf what they did before because so many more people can see it. I mean, when you expand the audience like that, you really reach a, a, a huge exponential number of people. And all this money is going to help the Robin Hood Foundation, which um, sets up a, a relief fund in which all of the money goes directly to helping people. And that, that was my next question. So they, the Robin Hood Foundation will be the one. People always want to know who's going to be spending and, pay, and passing out their money. They will be directing the funds uh, through all through the Robin Hood Foundation, Pia? Correct. And in some cases, they already have because they've already had $32 million come in. Um, Harvey Weinstein said they've already put $10 million out on the streets. And, you know, his point and the point of these guys is, look, people don't have heat now. Right. They are still struggling now. So let's get it out there. Okay. What time does the concert start? Well, it starts at uh, the official time is 715 Um I think in, in some cases it's been said 7.30, but from what I understand, you should be ready to watch it wherever you are and, you know, be ready before 7.30 because apparently the opening act is supposed to be the greatest rock and roll opening act ever. All right. I don't know what that means. Whatever I don't know who it is. I can't tell you. I have no idea. But it was so. I was told if you're going to watch it, don't miss the opening. All right, sort of like those secret acts they used to tout for the uh, the Republican and Democratic conventions. All right, Pia Catton, Hi. reporting on 12, 12, 12. Thanks for being with us. She's in London. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.